of the rules of boxing. Avoid using any kinds of foul. Don't throw any punches during the break. Is that clear? Seconds come out fighting. George Foreman, it's a good idea for him to be back or it's a bad idea. And there's an overhand right by Kawi. He saw the Guido Trani fight. And I'll tell you, Guido Trani was able to land all kinds of punches on George Foreman. And Kawi landed a good overhand right. Shook George a little bit just to start things off. And there he goes pushing him. Just as I predicted. And Padilla gives him a warning. Now, Padilla is a referee who usually has kind of a hands-off policy about that. Foreman. Foreman looks like he's kind of toying with Braxton or with uh, Kawi. And there's the jab from Foreman. Oh. Good right by right Kawi. Kawi. Fudge has to keep it out there with that left jab. If he starts to stay inside, he get himself in a lot of trouble. The jab and the uppercut in his two most important moves. Anything Foreman throws to the body, you'll be a low blow. George is allowing Kawi to take too many liberties. Kawi holding his hand out to keep Foreman at bay. And George Foreman looks ponderous and slow right now. And he's taking right hands to the head. And that one shook him. <laughs> but they have him doing it. Well, at least it shows he can do it. Uh-oh. For Kawi. This one is over and land the third one. But the left, though, he was very tough to him. Right now, he's getting nailed by Foreman. And it's taking its toll, I would think. You know, he's standing in there with him. Well, that one hurt Kawi. He's hurt now. Good first round. Kawi has been nailed with some big right hands. Lands his own hook against Foreman. A much slower Dwight Muhammad should be using this. Good left hook by Kawi. And another good left Foreman pushes him off on the right hand and another right hand. George Foreman felt those punches. He is getting nailed with some big shots now by Kawi. And Kawi with the jab that lands. And Kawi is talking to him. Kawi was hurt earlier. Now he's back against the, the ropes. Oh! Yeah. champion. Gets another right hand home. Woke up the crowd and woke up Foreman a little bit. He doesn't back up. He keeps coming. He throws a bizarre right hand to the back of... Oh, there goes... Something hurt Kawi to the back of the head. It looked to me like it got hit in the back on the kidneys, uh, Al. Boy, it was very tough to see what that was. Something hurt him. Well, Foreman just nailed him with a pretty good right hand. what it was. There so, was no eight count. So with, with Kwawi on the deck, it, he should have at least given us some kind of in And that, now Kwawi is landing some pretty good short punches himself. Uppercut hurt. Through the microscope to be sure. He's been looking at what he had. Kwawi oh. in a bad spot for him in that corner. Land some rights. That left hook. They've landed big shots just like the second round. right by Kawi. His big punch, his best punch is still that left jab, but he's not using it. Big left hook by Kawi. Right, Kawi doing what Guido Trani did so well, those overhand hooks and overhand right. Knockdown. Little left hook, and there it is. Yeah. A right to the kidneys. Money, and in all the other ones. Not here. Kau Try it first. Maybe we should skip right. Good right hand first. counter by Kwawi. Good combinations by Dwight Kwawi. There's the jab. Uppercut by Kwawi. And so what has been landed in this round primarily has been landed by Kwawi. Landed left, left hook by Kwawi. Yeah, well. Right hand by George Foreman. It does very well. They have to remember as, as uh, heavy as Kwawi has become in the Holy Field. He has abilities. Oh, yes, he definitely does. There's no question about that. Now, he was hit with three good shots by Foreman. Gil, I don't know about you, but I have my answer. I want Puerto Rico, correct? I didn't want Puerto Rico. 100 degrees in the building. You were there. But that was about as much snap as I've seen George have on a punch tonight. A little left on his punches. He's landed some big ones. Warning the Kawi from low blows. Now we landing a couple of good shots. That tactic started when he did so effectively to Joe Frazier and pushed him off his rhythm. But uh, in this instance, it seems that's not mine. 
You can move your head all night, Al, but your body doesn't move. George be trying to throw some real bombs downstairs. He's really not trying to hit the body of Kawhi. He's landing in this round, no question about that. He's having a good sixth round. Man, and he Kawhi. got nailed. Kawhi lands a short right hand and a left hook. Another hook by Kawhi. Foreman just pushes him off. This fight keeps going and start talking about who's landing more punches shots. Well, if this fight continues this way, I think we're going to see a very controversial split decision written all over it. Right hand by Foreman, and that uppercut hurt cut. He faked him out. Wow. He faked out Foreman, then came back with a right hand. That was fascinating. I've never seen a fighter fake that much. No, it looked like he was going down. Wow. Corner. Gil, do you feel like everything is kind of in slow motion here? Yes, I like certainly do. We're don't. still every 10 or 12 seconds. There's 22 seconds left in round six, and that left hook did hurt him. That's a knockdown because it, no, it isn't. It should have been. He went yeah, against he went the ropes. Against the ropes, right? That's correct. Uh, that should have been a knockdown. Instead, Foreman stopped punching. How we got up? Oh, it might have been a knockdown. Big left hook by George. That is a knockdown. Yes. When the ropes prevent you from going down, it's supposed to be. If you're wondering, George Foreman, since he started his comeback in March of 87. Take that jab. He could just rip that hook under. And the right hand gets there by Foreman. There's the uppercut. And that right hand pushes Kawi back. But in real trouble, and he wasn't. Jab in the right hand by Foreman. And the jab helping to set things dominating. That was the first good left hook to the body, which I think he can land all day. And I'm not sure that didn't really hurt Kawi. I think Kawi wants to quit. That's it. Well, as I said, Al, he had the will to get by this round, which is short. The end of there was that good left hook underneath. I think that took all the rest of the fight out of uh, Dwight Kawi. I had been mentioned that he was wide open for that punch. And he's just brutalizing him now. Nothing great, no big snap, but the punches are there. And I guess while we knew he was out of gas, and that was the end of the fight. Very, very close. I thought maybe the Foreman was by a, by a, a point or two. That's yeah. all. Well, George Foreman wins on a TKO. It is his eighth straight win since his comeback.